Uh, today I will show you how to design a paint splash uh, effect on Photoshop by using a stock image uh, uh, into Photoshop. So let's go. I will uh, try to uh, show you. Uh, this is uh, this is the final uh, output of uh, this uh, effect, and this is stock image, and it is uh, jumping main image of our background. So I want to create a new page uh, from file. Sorry, nine five zero. One two five zero. Then resolution thin show. Okay. And now I want to cut this image uh, into by using quick selection tools. It's very easy to select by using quick selection tools. Okay, fine. Uh, I have selected the criteria, and I want to refine his uh, option to click and mask the hairs from here. Okay, done. And I now just click OK. And I want to hit the mask tools uh, from here and just move this brush sorry not move I want to cut this area just okay fine and now I want to uh, don't want this uh, background I want to move this uh, layer into our uh, selected uh, background and press ctrl T to transform this click right button to flip horizontal in this pixel and press uh, sorry press shift and order and hold them and just uh, I want to uh, end the, uh, adjust this uh, image into here Zoom this image into here and click warp tools, right button and click warp tools. And now I want to warp this image in here. Click destruct. Then OK. Again, press Ctrl T and adjust this in here. Okay, fine. Let's start our image to adjust uh, into here. Just go to image adjustment, black and white radius. Okay, fine. I want this uh, radius uh, just minus 13. It's no matter to sense. 
then click OK and now I want to select this layer and uh, press Ctrl and hold and click here and now I want to erase this from here so select uh, brush tools and sorry I want to select the eraser tools from here all of sorry and uh, now I want to select this layer and uh, this uh, room and to mask uh, just uh, mask uh, just select this mask tools and now uh, here is uh, two colors of uh, black and white just select black color from here and here is this sorry Select hardness brush and it is from here. Again, select from here. Okay, fine. And now I want to select white brush and again select this brush. is to select this just I want to deselect this from here select deselect and press ctrl T and press ctrl and select this two layers and press ctrl T now and I want to adjust this into background in here I want to add a new layer just in here and select white background and press control delete to fill up this white background ok fine and the uh, next time I want to uh, create a new layer sorry not layer just want to click here and uh, new solid color just click dark blue color and ok and just go to normal to Subtract at the last uh, final output. I want to create a new layer, not layer. Sorry, again, I have mistake. Just click here and create a new gradient from here. Select this gradient and click OK. Style will be linear to angle and click reverse. Sorry, not angle, it's radial and we got this then click OK at the last time uh, if you want uh, more uh, realistic just uh, go to image dynamic and uh, fill, fill up this into a noiser to, uh, before you can adjust this all layers from here apply image then click ok and go to filter and select image dynamic and click noiser then click ok
so friends uh, if you really enjoy this video just uh, subscribe our channel apple graphics studio and uh, you can get uh, another more tutorials uh, for our channel so let's a uh, goodbye uh, for today i will back again uh, with you and uh, with a new tutorial thank you for watching